Hey folks, David Frost, LazyGapTrader.com. In this video, we're talking about day trading. More importantly, we're talking about gap trading and how gap trading is by far the single most consistent and profitable day trading strategy you can find across the markets today. On the screen, you're looking at a chart of Ambarella, A-M-B-A. It's a little bit of a tease. I've got a 60-minute chart up on the screen, which I usually don't, but what I wanted to point out was that even though in the first hour of trading, it looks like Ambarella cut through all these levels that you see identified by the horizontal lines running across the screen, it looks like it cut through them like a hot knife through butter. But what I'm going to show you in this video is how we got three trades, three winning trades on these three levels on Ambarilla all within the first hour of trading. It's a trifecta. It's a hat trick. It's three bites at the apple. Whatever you want to call it, it's a fantastic result on one stock. We'll come back to this one and we'll look at the shorter time frame and the actual trades in more detail. What I do is two very specific things. Number one is I teach a course where I teach two gap trading strategies. One is the morning gap trades and the second strategy are gap fill trades. I teach everything traders need to know in this course in order to trade the gaps successfully. Everything you're going to see in this video is taught right out of the course. The second thing I do is I give traders an opportunity to get my gap trades sent to them each and every morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 30 minutes before the market even opens for trading. Let's review today's email and then we'll come back and pick apart the charts. Here's a copy of what was sent at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 30 minutes before the market is even opened for business. Today we had four potential morning gap trades on the board. Only one hit its levels. However, it hit all three levels that was provided to my traders at 9 o'clock in the morning. The other three stocks did not hit the levels that we were willing to place trades at. When that doesn't happen, when stocks don't hit the specified levels as taught how to calculate in the course, we don't want the trade. We only want the high probability trades. We want the highest probability trades and that's why we only want the price levels that we calculate. Those are the ones we're willing to trade. When stocks don't hit their price levels, they're off the board, there are no trades. That's it. It's over. Ambarella, on the other hand, gap lower. Support levels are $55.56, $54.52, and then a third level at $53.47. Remember those numbers. Stop and profit target is about 30 to 55 cents. This is a minimum profit target, but remember these numbers. We're going to look at all three trades. So we're back on Ambarella and we're staying on the 60 minute chart just for a second. As you can see, the stock closed yesterday at $59.73. The stock was opening today at 56.76, qualifying for one of our morning gap trades. It opened about 5% and it went lower. So the morning gap trades are when we can identify specific price levels where these stocks will A, be drawn to and B, have a price reaction in the other direction. Sometimes the price reaction will be very quick and large. Sometimes it will be very quick and small. Sometimes it will take longer than others. You never know exactly what you're going to get in the market. You take what the market gives you each and every day. Now let's take a look at exactly what the market gave us on Ambarella. I took it down to a one minute chart so that we can magnify exactly what happened to the stock minute by minute. The second minute of the day, the stock made a low of $55.35 within our stop loss limitation. And in the fourth minute of the day, the stock was already at a high of 56.44 for about an 88 cent gain in just two minutes of trading from our entry price. Some traders might have gotten 30 cents, some might have gotten 50 cents, some might have gotten 75 cents. It's up to the individual trader and where you put your exit orders. All this is discussed in the course at Lazy Gap Trader. So the first trade's over and the stock comes down farther and it goes past the first level and starts making its way down to the second price level identified 
before the market was even opened for business. And what happened? You see here at 9.40 in the morning, 10 minutes into the open, the stock made a low of 54 26 again within our stop loss limitation and as you can see three minutes later at 9:43, the stock was at a high of 55 dollars and eight cents representing a maximum possible gain of 56 cents on that particular trade some traders might have gotten 30 40 50 cents whatever they got it was a positive trade and what was specified in the email that went out before the market was even opened. Now the stock comes down again and comes toward the third level. The stock pierced through the third level by a little bit, staying within the stop loss limitation, and then later on in the morning, the stock was at a high of 53.81, giving us over 30 cent gain on that particular trade. And I think as I make this video, the stock's even traded higher than that. Moving back over to a 10 minute chart, you can see here where the stock has traded as high as 53.89 from when it hit the third level that's the third trade positive trade on the same stock in the morning session on one of our morning gap trades that anybody that's taken my course at lazy gap trader was able to identify the fact that this stock qualified for a morning gap trade and how to calculate the same levels that you see here in this video all could have been done with anybody that has gone through the gap trading course folks if you want to learn more I can teach you everything you need to know in order to trade the gaps successfully I'm David Frost lazygaptrader.com thanks for tuning in traders